Speaking of the D, I'm going to move over to my Detroit Tigers, uh, who are actually up, or I think we're three nothing on the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Michael Lorenzen on the mound, who I just picked up in our fantasy league after my comments last week about how his strike throwing has improved. Uh, they are up four nothing, Smitty. Four nothing, nice, nice. Um, my Tigers are uh, kind of a a big surprise almost, even though they are three games below five hundred. Uh, that's winning to me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, I wasn't expecting anything out of them essentially, and they have been a far more entertaining watch so far in this in this first quarter of the season. They certainly have. Yeah, uh, they, they're not going anywhere. They, you know, they are benefiting from being in a terrible division that they're even in the race. Although suddenly, I think the Twins are separating themselves uh, from from the rest of the division. We'll see how long they stay healthy or how long that run can last. But I mean, they're, I they're, they're five uh, and five in their last 10, the twins. So okay. well, they yeah. just happen to play the Cubs who are a D team. So. <laughs> C plus, but <laughs> I'm going to give the Tigers a B just because oh, no, I, totally good. Good. Just because yes. I didn't expect anything. I think I gave them a D D plus in the, in, over the off season. Cause the, the little bit they did to improve a, a, a wretched offense uh, was frustrating, but they they've, they're starting to hit the ball a little more. They're oh, yeah. they're on pace to. I think they have a like they're ten points better in their OPS so far than they were last year, which isn't great. But scoring a few more runs per game, hitting the ball out of the ballpark, out of the ballpark a little more. The bullpen's been great, um, which is a surprise since they traded away a lot of their bullpen in the off season, and it's actually better with people's names we don't recognize instantly. Alex Lang has been fantastic. Um, the rotation has been, I mean, Eduardo Rodriguez is essentially the best pitcher in the American league over the last several starts. So, I mean, insane. He's, he was, I, I commented to Smitty, everyone. Uh, I was at the Sox me. game, which we'll get, we we'll get to that later, but um, they were in the rain delay. They kept flashing top five AL pitchers and Rodriguez is on just about every statistical board they showed i was blow i was blown away i was in shock he's starting tomorrow night's game against the pirates which if you ever noticed the pirates are in free fall after a tremendous start to the season first three weeks but i think they've uh, basically lost that entire i think they were like 12 games over 500 at one point i think they're almost a 500 team now yeah, so three games over uh, considering what the Tigers are doing to him tonight, hopefully that continues tomorrow with Erod on the mound. So, yeah, that's why I'm. That's why, again, I, my expectations expectations were low. So I'm I'm going to be kind to them on the on the grading scale. I'm going to give them that that solid B. Yeah, I I agree. I mean, shit. If you want to go B plus, I wouldn't even argue with you with X based on expectation. Whoa. I mean. This is a team that has come out of nowhere. They they are more like what uh, you know. If I was talking about the the team that won't be getting a very good grade in a little bit, the White mm. Sox, like they're they're more like where I I could see I was thinking the Sox would be sitting if they weren't doing well. They're doing far below. Oh, well, I but, see. You know, yeah, yeah, like three games under five hundred, right in the. In that was in the hunt. realm of possibility. But yeah, right. But, far, but yeah, they've far gone outside of that. Yeah. Gone outside of that. So, yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've caught some, uh, you know, bits and pieces of tigers games and I've seen a lot of highlights and they uh, look like a fun team to watch. And really that's, even if your team's not like doing great, at least they should be watchable, you know? That and so that's some, I mean, some that's aspect sad, of it has to be watchable, you know. That is a sad state of affairs. It's true, but the the, the our teams have brought us to over the last couple of years, like how yeah. we were just clamoring for a 500 record. Well, uh, I think both you and I were clamoring for our teams to, you know, have some sort of offense, and they've all shown signs of offense. Mm -hmm. But there's other aspects on the other side of, of the ball and pitching and that that just don't allow them to, you know, some of these games you score five runs and still lose, which shouldn't be the case, but 
Yeah, the Tigers. Tigers look good. They're 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 a true contender in a shitty division right now. So. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna call them a contender, but they're entertaining. Contender. That's, that's kind of all I'm asking for after last season was such a, a dramatic disappointment, and it was it was a brutal watch by the end of the year. Just never coming up with a clutch hit. They're starting to hit with runners in scoring position, which is nice. Always nice to see. Riley Green is kind of emerging as as the. I'm going to call him a good hitter right now. He, I, you know, he's projected to be a great hitter at some point. We're seeing him in kind of getting finally into the realm of a good hitter. Torkelson is showing some power. He had a double just just before we jumped on the air, anecdotally. But he's been hitting the ball hard, not hitting it out of the ballpark, unfortunately. But um, so yeah, I mean, there's there's fun things to watch. Unfortunately, you know, I, I go back to Erod. I think they will be trading him and others at the deadline uh, just because that's what you need to do when you're going to be losing expiring assets as he's able to opt out. But we will get to that in our first half grades in the second, after the second quarter is over. So for now, I'm not too, I'm not too bummed. How could a solid be? Word Hole Media.